In this video, we're going to explore the scene files and the vlog capability of the EVA 1. Now, most Panasonic camcorders in the handheld range have had the ability to have one of six scene files. The EVA 1 has the ability to use one of five scene files or vlog. Vlog is a logarithmic gamma. It is a mode that takes over all color processing of the camera and it's designed to match the vlog of the larger varicams. If you're using this camera as a B camera to a varicam and the main shoot is being shot in vlog, then you can set this camera into vlog and get very similar color processing. Vlog is probably the easiest mode to learn to use the camera and to shoot with because it disables the whole scene file menu. <laughs> There's five other scene files in there and you can get extensive control over the image and over the color and the detail and the sharpness and the gamma, everything. You can do all that or you can ignore all that and just shoot in vlog. Trade-off is all that processing still has to be done, but it's done in post when you're shooting vlog. So you are acquiring in this nice neutral flat gamma that is designed to match the characteristics of negative film that's transferred to video. That's where vlog came from. And so you get wonderful 14 stops of dynamic range and it's just, it's really nice, but it's expecting that all the work will be done in post. Not every workflow is suitable for that. Sometimes you're shooting news. Sometimes you're shooting a wedding or something needs to be quick turnaround. You know, you got to deliver with a broadcast look already, quote unquote, baked in to the footage. Eva's got you covered there too. It's got five different scene file settings. So the way you choose which mode you're going to put the camera in, you go into system settings, color settings, and then for main color, you can either choose vlog or one of the five scene files. If you choose vlog, like I said before, it disables the scene file settings menu and your decision making is pretty much done at that point as to what, you know, all you really have to do at that point, get a good proper white balance, expose properly, you're good. If you choose to use one of the scene file settings, then you have a variety of choices available to you. There's a lot of menu options. If you really want to delve into these and, and understand what all these different settings do, Panasonic has made a book available for you that I wrote. It's called The Guide to the EVA-1 Camera. And there's extensive coverage in there of the gamma curves and of the black gamma and the master pedestal and the different pedestal offset colors and the color saturation and the 16 pole color matrix and everything that you can do. That's all available to you. Shortcutting that, there are five pre-programmed scene files already in there for you. What are they best suited for and when should you be using each one? Well, scene one and scene two are both what Panasonic calls the EVA look. It's designed to make the camera give you the full 14 stops of dynamic range and look sort of like vlog, but not too much like vlog. Why? Vlog is not meant to be displayed on a monitor. Vlog is meant to be graded in post and you have to grade it and you have to saturate the color and you have to apply curves on it and all these things that you have to do to make it look good on a monitor. You can see it on a monitor, but it doesn't look very appealing. The EV looks in scene one and scene two are designed to give you that same filmish type of look, but in a more video friendly format. So if you're shooting for something that's going to be going straight out to video, if you want to use the wide dynamic range, and you want it to look like an EVA, but more suitable for video. Scene one is EV look one. That's what the name data calls it. And it uses a gamma curve that is most similar to on the older cameras, Cine V. It was a cinema style look that was emphasizing contrast for video. So it's still got a nice smooth curve, but it's got enough contrast in there. That it looks sharper of the EVA looks, it's probably the most monitor appropriate right out of the box. EV look two, if you're using scene two, that is more similar to what Panasonic's earlier handheld cameras called Cine D. It's emphasizing dynamic range. It's making sure that all the dynamic range is captured. It's a flatter look. It's kind of, in some ways, you could say it's halfway between vlog and EV look one. It's kind of halfway in between there. So it's a flatter look. It's more suitable for grading than a normal video camera would be, but it's not, you know, the full-fledged vlog. 
If you need a normal gamma, if you want your footage to integrate into a multi-camera production where we're using conventional video cameras, let's say you're covering sports, you're covering news, you're doing live events, any of these kind of things, you've got full broadcast capability in here too. You can use scene file three, that's configured to deliver a conventional Rec. 709 gamma look, or you can use scene file four, which is a similar look to scene file three, but it's got a little bit more enhanced gamma. It's got a little bit more color saturation in it. And the knee point is set a little bit higher. So it can make for livelier images. They're not as strict color accurate as scene file three would be. A little bit more life to them, you might prefer it. So just look in the monitor, switch between three and four and see which one you prefer. Scene file five is a different kettle of fish because it's designed for delivering high dynamic range footage. The EVA is fully capable of creating HDR footage in either V-Log or using the gamma curve in scene file five, which is called hybrid log gamma. Hybrid log is a way to make high dynamic range footage that is playable on a conventional TV set or on an HDR TV set. So I'm gonna say that it's more of a delivery format than it is really a, a grading format. If you're gonna be making high dynamic range footage that you want to deliver straight to a client, Scene File 5 is a great place to start with that because it's already encoded in hybrid log gamma. Hybrid log means that the, the upper scale the, the mid-tones to the whitest tones are encoded logarithmically, like V-log, but the lower tones, the darker tones, are encoded more like a conventional gamma curve. So scene file five would be great for delivering footage that you wanna have shown on a high dynamic range display, or it may be shown on a conventional TV. So in the camera, any kind of look you wanna get is available. You can paint this camera six ways from Sunday. It's got all the 16 pole color matrix and, and more color controls than most any other camera in the Panasonic lineup that's come before it. If you want the most power and most control in post, you can go with V-Log or in the latest firmware update in late March, 2018, you can actually record RAW where none of this is relevant because the RAW footage is actually RAW straight off the sensor. You can't record RAW internally, but you can output RAW through the SDI port and use an external recorder and record RAW. So however you wanna work with images, each one's got you covered. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting and please stay tuned to this video series for even more tips and tricks on how to use your EVA camcorder. Panasonic.